are going to Italy and London. This is so great. Just with some girlfriends from college. Ooh. I love London. Woo! Yeah, you did it. We wanted to go see these kids that we taught. You're doing a good job. I really like them because they're two separate people. A really good personality. Oh, I'm scared of heights. Terrified. So I was really high I'm up there. A little I'm nervous. nervous. Oh, life. Holy cow, there's a lot of people. In these crowded situations, I want to make sure that they're safe. Let's bounce out of here. Don't dump me in. Boats are not my friend. This is nuts. Boats and water break our feet. Whoa. 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 Whose idea was this? This isn't supposed to be the hard bit. We can't do this. My name is Abby Henzel, and I am Brittany Henzel. We are 22 years old. People have been curious about us since we were born, for obvious reasons. We're, we're identical, identical twins who are conjoined. But our parents never let us use that as an excuse. While life as a conjoined twin sometimes has its challenges, I like this, but I don't need it. We were raised to believe that we could do anything we wanted, so we do. We like to think that the most amazing thing about us is we're just like everyone else. We really are normal, but I'm definitely more normal than Brett. Whatever. Anyways, this is the story of our normal, regular life. Well, our normal conjoined life. This is our life. Okay, let's check. Passports, money, IDs, Abby, Brittany. We are going to London and England for a trip. London is England. I mean, London, we are going to Italy and London for a trip, um, just with some girlfriends from college. Erin and Becca. So we have our boots. Make sure our camera's in there. Yep, I feel it down there. We love London. We have studied abroad in London, London twice. We soon taught there in a small town called Maidenhead. Rain jacket. And Aaron and us had always talked about going to London um, oh, since like sophomore year. year, so we wanted to make that happen. Cool. cool. And then we decided since we're in Europe, yep. we wanted to go to Italy since we were there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we decided we were gonna spend five days in London and then another five days in Venice and Rome. I'm all packed. We were all really excited to go on this trip and it's been kind of a trying time for all of us as we're graduating from college. Off to Europe. There's so many uncertainties of trying to figure out where you're gonna live and where you're gonna work. And then we knew that this would be really the only time in our lives where we could have 10 days off to be able to travel. Bye. Have a good trip, girls. Bye. 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 See you later. Bye. Okay, be good. I will not. <laughs> Very excited for them. Here we go. I don't have any concerns. You know, we talked with their primary doctor and got a prescription for almost anything they could possibly need, from a bronchitis to a, a cellulitis to urinary tract infections to pain medicine. Because for them to walk into another country's hospital, you know, it would be hard to start from the beginning with them. Good. Hi, friends. Go ahead, thank you. May I have your passport? You did bring that, right? <laughs> yeah, I did bring my passport. Oh my goodness. We have two, two passports, passports, one for both of us. Mm -hmm. um, since we have two social security numbers, it makes sense to have two passports. I'm not sure if the ticket is under Abby or Brittany. It's actually under Brittany. Brittany. Okay, thank you. But well, we only have one plane ticket just because we only take up one seat. How many babes? One. We just book it under one of us and we've never had a problem with it. Thank you so much for thank flying you. Delta thank today. Thank you. Have a good flight. And we're off. Let's go. So the first morning in London, we yeah. took an open bu open top bus, bus tour. tour. How are you? I'm Abby. I'm Abby, Brittany. Hi. Nice to meet you. Welcome. Hi, nice to meet you. Yeah. It was just a good way to see, see the whole the city. city. Even though we'd all been there, we just thought it would be fun to get more of the history Street type bus tour, tour, which was super fun. This is so great. Battle of Trafalgar was won by Lord Nelson, and he's on top of the column. And if Trafalgar Square is the geographic center, Piccadilly Circus is the social center. Okay. It's kind of fun to see all of those sites relaxed. Like, oh my god, we want to take 100 pictures. And there's your big bed. That's really cool. cool. And yet, I still took 100 pictures. So unnecessary how many pictures I'm taking. I'm always the one to hit the picture button, mm -hmm. but we take turns, or whoever wants to look into the little viewer, we both do that. Ladies. When Brittany's focusing it, I know when she stops moving because the camera wiggles around when you focus it, so she stops, and so then I click the button. But it's not something that we 
are consciously and thought mm -hmm. of. It just kind of happens. A lot of things just kind of happen <laughs> for us. So the palace is just ahead of us. So that's the balcony that you see the royal family coming out on on, you know, special awesome. occasions. Morning. Morning. Hi. Morning. Holy cow, there's a lot of people. No, it's too beautiful. There definitely is a different element traveling with them. I mean, in these crowded situations, I am far more aware of where they are and just what's going on. I mean, no one expects that they're gonna see conjoined twins, and so it's normal to have some sort of a reaction, but you never know what people are gonna do or what they're gonna say or how they're gonna react. They've had, you know, bad experience with the unwelcome attention or unwelcome photographs, and so when a situation like that happens, it's kind of everyone's on high alert. We should probably not go <laughs> what the heck? I want to make sure that they're safe and that they're not completely exposed. Come here. Definitely just standing in the way of pictures. Just always kind of keeping an eye on what's going on and just how the girls are reacting to the crowds. All right, should we go? Yeah. Sometimes if they get more overwhelmed, then it's like, okay, we just need to get away from this area a little bit. Let's bounce out of here. But, I mean, they amaze me at their ability to just shake it off and keep seeing what we were there to see. Go make your call. Got to take it as it comes and deal with it. It's not something that just wrecks the whole day. Got to make it fun. Time's up. Time's I'm up. talking to my boyfriend <laughs> and my fiance, who I don't know. <laughs> Hello, yes, where's my ring? <laughs> Fine, goodbye. This is how rumors get started. Yeah. So there was this rumor that I was engaged, and it's not true, true at all. It's really stupid. But it's kind of just a dumb joke. Um, so, so no boyfriend, no boyfriend, no engagement. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> well, extra time. Yeah, let's just wait till it's crowd. Passes. So then we went to Tower Bridge, which is another one of our favorites because we think it's, it's so, so beautiful. beautiful there. Oh look, this is really special. You see the barge there? That's the royal barge. Oh, oh wow! Oh, that's amazing. Is somebody on it? I doubt it. While we were there, we saw the Queen's barge, barge. go through, which um, apparently is very, very significant, significant and it doesn't happen all the time. The kings would always do pageants on the river. Okay. And so this was something that was revived for yeah. the um, oh, Jubilee. Is there significance with that? Yes. No, it's just no. a sculpture. Oh. Well, yeah. Five pounds to go hug that thing right there. We saw this weird the statue, statue thing. Aaron dared us to go give it a hug. Well that was much better than expected. <laughs> that was well worth it. But we were running a little faster than we thought, and it was like, bang! <laughs> it kind of startled everyone, I think. Made a big ruckus. Look, I think you made this mark on it. Look, this was caused by you, right there. Max, you left your mark on it. Well done, well done. They're always willing to be goofy and make themselves look stupid, you know. That was funny. Yeah, that was really good. But that one surprised me. I didn't think they were actually going to go run and... We had a lot of fun today. So much fun. Ooh. We had high tea. Ooh, squishy. Stop playing with the food. Please, sir, can I have some more? We definitely are not it's a light and proper. proper. You want to live here? I do want to live here. It's on my bucket list. But I'm more of a homebody and like to stay close to my family and friends. So it would be definitely a harder thing for me to do. After graduation, us and our friend Aaron and Becca decided that we were going to go to Italy and London. We don't have a job yet, so we just had a lot of time off and it seemed like the good time to go. Have you guys ever been here before? We did it once. It's kind of hard because like the traffic doesn't stop. No, traffic could. stops for me. Traffic stops for me, okay. While we were in London, we decided that we wanted to go to Abbey Road and try the walking thing across the road from the Beatles. You go first, I'll go second. A little tricky to time the perfect picture and not get hit by traffic because it's a super busy road. Go, go! <laughs> it was kind of like Frogger, don't yeah. get hit. Nice, <laughs> yes, we did it! There it is! Again, <laughs> don't do traffic stops for me. All right, we're next. Has anybody ever done high tea before? No. What's that? I wonder why they call it high tea. I know, why is it high? high? So good. This table? Perfect, thank you. 
we went to this tea house with bees and blueberry, and we had high tea, which is um, a very English thing to do. Wow. Ooh. What, what Fancy. Schmancy. Oh. You get like a platter of sandwiches, sandwiches and like little cakes and, and desserts and sweets like that. Thank Cheers to our first <laughs> classy high tea. Ooh. That's tricky. And um, then you get your own type of tea. Spin the legs. Whee! That's gonna be dirty. What should we try next? How about these white little things? Ooh, squishy. Okay. Stop putting in the food. There was like this uh, mango meringue and it was so weird. That's disgusting. You're trying it. Oh, no. where do you want to try it? I am really picky and I don't like to try new things and I'd rather just have pasta all the time. Do it right. No. Abby. And I'm more adventurous, so I will try different things. I like a wider range of food than Abby does. Um, um, and so trying things was easier for Brittany than it was for me. Excuse my range. I don't think I've ever said that to you. You feel proper. It's a proper setting. Yeah. Pardon my fingers. <laughs> we definitely are not as polite like and proper and, and graceful, graceful as um, English people are. Pinkies up. Hold on. Pinky up at all times. Oh, shoot. We definitely played it up and did our little pinkies up when we practice our accents. Afternoon tea. Bees of Bloomsbury. Bees of Bloomsbury. I love London. Please, sir, can I have some more? Her name always talks in a British accent without oh. even knowing it. Because uh, you want to live here. I do want to live here. It's on my bucket list. What else is on your bucket list? Skydiving? No. I only have one thing on my bucket list right now. That's well, a pretty sad yeah. bucket list. I never put one together, but I just made one walking down the street the other day thinking I want to live in Europe. Bernie definitely, well, I would definitely live in London, but I'm more of a homebody and like to stay close to my family and friends. So it would be definitely a harder thing for me to do. But since we're getting more comfortable there, I could probably do it. And if the opportunity ever, yeah, if the opportunity ever came about, I don't think we'd pass it down. Food coma? Yeah. I got a food baby. If we can walk now, yeah. let's Whoa. get out of here. Literally. Whose idea was this? We decided to do a, a rowing lesson. lesson. Don't dump me it! Uh, Boats are not my friend. We break our feet on boats. We can't do this. Oh! Whoa! Okay. Whoa! So bye, die! But you died and I'll recover for that. Oh, what are we doing? You ready for this? Yeah. I'm so excited. Have you rowed before? No. Is it rowing? Rowing. Rowing. Oh, heavy road. Road. Heavy road. So one of the days in London, we wanted to go out to, to Maidenhead, Maidenhead, which is where we lived for two months and student taught. Hi. Oh, hello, hello. Hi. Hi. And Hi. one thing that our host family is really big into was rowing, and so we decided to do a, a rowing lesson on the River Thames. Drive with the legs, then pull in with my arms to the chest, and then lean forward like so. Oh my lord. The instructor's name was Chris. He was very good at rowing, and he had taught a lot of newbies how to row. Abby and Brittany, try and keep your arms straighter for a bit longer. Wait until you're... That's it. Oars we actually call blades. The end part that goes in the water we call the spoons. There's feathered and there's square. And the right-hand side is called the stroke side. And this side is called the bow side. To stop you, I will say, easy there. Is there going to be a test? Yeah, there's, there's the <laughs> test out there. That one. Don't dump me in. I'm not going to dump you in. Yep. We don't want any broken feet. Boats are not my friend. OK. Brittany, are you scared? Yeah. OK, this is nuts. We play volleyball. Bro, boats and water break, break our feet. feet. We break our feet on boats. We can't do this. Whose idea was this? Aaron. <laughs> Aaron Jorgen. No, Whose was it? This is a team effort. No. I'm going to hold this. Okay. This isn't supposed to be the hard bit. <laughs> I've broken my foot twice, and Brittany's broken, broken her foot three times. times. Getting in is better than breaking. What are we doing? Oh. As long as we get in the boat, we should be OK. Yeah. All right, let's do this. One step at a time. Two ends of the handle. Two hands on the handle. Against each other. I'll help stabilize the boat. Oh, okay. baby cakes. Oh. Whoa. Okay. Whoa. Oh. I'm laughing now, but this is going to be Yeah, make sure you even start to laugh. OK. Because if I die. If you die, no, we're covered for that. <laughs> oh, good. Right. Oh, right. so, so, I haven't got a job that. yet. There we are. There we go. Mm -hmm. OK. OK. That's a click for us. Yeah. <laughs> Stroke, I want you to lift your spoons up, take a little baby stroke, and push down and away. Uh, it didn't even go in the water. water. Try again. 
I was a little bit worried about the coordination. It's out of the water! <laughs> How do we do that? It's so hard. It is. Sculling, of course, with two blades needs absolute coordination, and it is hard enough for one person to get that coordination going. No. It was going to be doubly difficult for Abby and Brittany. What am I doing wrong? Ah, you don't want your bum just to go whoo, like that and shove the seat back. You want your shoulders coming back. Shove your arms out. Back. Now come forward and put them in. And keep your arms like that. That's the way. Oh, there we go. Okay. That's it. There we what go. Fascinated that they, they were able to, to get that difficult hand coordination together and also be doing the other things, which is the leg, then pulling back with the arms. You're getting it. Are you sure? Yeah. How they can manage that, you know, with two different controlling brains. I was extremely, you know, extremely impressed by that. Excellent. Yeah, it's not square. That's it. Make sure it's square. We are very coordinated, and so it just comes naturally. But we didn't always know what his terms meant. Flat on the water. Is it? And so we had to figure that out. And before it was smooth. What? It's not square on the bow side. It's not square. Twist it around so it's square. So it's going vertical. Thank you. When you start to row, you need to have your oars square. And that means that the oars are vertical and perpendicular with the water. Keep checking that you're square. Brittany, it's not square. Brittany, I'm it. going. You're not square. Whoa. Easy. Don't think that your blades are going to be square. You have to keep checking. Check all the time, check all the time, check all the time. He was very intense it's about his job. job. Very serious. You're not square on both sides, so uh, make sure you're square. Get square on both sides. Square, square. No, it was hilarious. Uh -huh. Whole crew, come on. In time with stroke, please. Make sure you're square, too. Oh, sorry. We've all got out of sync, so we'll start again. The hard part was being in sync with everyone. Oh! That was me. It's a very big thing of trust and paying attention to the person ahead of you. Two, wait for stroke. In time with stroke. In, out. In, out. That's it. But we did it and we learned it. It was really fun. Whoa. Woo! We're all now Oops. rowing. It was fun for Abby and Brittany to be in front and kind of have that control of setting the pace and the consistency of all of us rowing. Wow, we are motoring. Keep it slow, don't get excited. I'm still amazed by them every single day, and yes. they're so willing to try new things. And so when things like that come up that we've never done before, it's like you almost have to just sit there in awe and amazement of like, they're capable of so many things. Yes. Uh, you forgot to spare them. <laughs> They're such lovely girls, all of them. Easy. I feel honored to have spent a session with them. I want to be their new best friend. Whoa. You got it. There you go. Whoa. Ta da! Dry land. That was Thank really you. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. That Thank was you. so good. Thank you so Thank much. You so much. We wanted to go see these kids that we taught. <laughs> Just like all these different obstacles. Ah! We were definitely too big for it. Oh, I'm scared of heights. Oh, my God. Oh, it's like really high up there. We're a little nervous. Oh, life. While we were in Maidenhead, after our rowing lesson, we wanted to go see these kids that we taught that we really connected with, with Jake and Emily, their brother and sister. They're so cute. They're going to go grab some coffee. OK. Is it going to bite me? No, it's fine. We went to Odd's Farm, which is this like petting zoo slash like jungle gym, yeah. but it was fun. So do you guys have school tomorrow? Yes. 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 You guys have homework tonight? Yeah. I've been pretty, um, yeah, they taught me in maths and literacy. So what do we do? Um, I think you pedal. Just, you just pedal? They're fun, so they're nice to listen. They're good to listen to. Ha! I'm too big for this! Really good personality. Jake's gonna get us out! Whoa! Yeah. Hi! Yosh, you got it! Hi. You're doing a good job! We really like them because they're two separate people. And they're really nice. Uh, Ready, Em? Go, 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 go! Thank you! Do you ever feel like you get two different perspectives in teaching? Yeah, because yeah, they both have something to say, don't they? Oh, 
one for the wet. Oh! And they, um, and they teach really well, so. Whoever gets them is really lucky to have them as a teacher. Oh, well, thank you. Oh, so polite. The farmer has lost his sheep in the maze. Can you help him find them during your adventure? Which way should we go? Um, that way? That way. Yeah, oh. then you guys down here. How then you guys, I don't know. Oh, it's a dead. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> Straight away. Shoot. Straight away. We went through a maze, and the goal was to get through the maze and find all five sheep and remember them. Oh, that's one oh, that's one. sheep. That's Curly. 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 Yeah. This is an actual maze. There's another one. That's Curly and Fluffy. Then once we found them, we have to get to the exit. We just did a circle. Did we? Look, okay, there's Curly. Oh. It's really, really hard. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wait, that's it. Fluffy again. That's Fluffy again. Have they been this way? That's Fluffster. You'd think you found, you'd find a new sheep, and it was the same sheep. Is that it? That's oh, Fluffy. Fluffy. Oh, wow. I think yeah. they're joking. We're lost in this maze. Okay. Okay. Well, we can eat. Hey, I'm gonna say the names in British. Ready? Yeah. Curly, Fluffy, and Snowdrop. Oh, that's really good. Can yes. you say it in American? Curly, Fluffy, Snowdrop. Woo! Oh, great! Jake, what about you? Okay, um, uh, curly, um, <laughs> Fluffy, and Snowdrop. That's <laughs> Emily does a great American yeah, accent, see. and so does Jake, and we were trying to be, do a British accent. So oh, we were just having fun while we were in there. They were so cute. Yay! We made it! Yes! Let me go over Woo! Yes! All right. All right, here we go. Ready? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you did it. Inside the barn was like this soft play, like obstacle course. It's gonna do it! And we were definitely too big for it, but we went anyway. It's a little difficult, more difficult than we thought. But it was fun. It was cute to see Jake, Jake and Emily so excited about it. That was really fun to hang out with them and see them. They're so cute. We love them. Scared of heights. Oh. I know. Terrified. Well, our final night in London. We want to try the London Eye. This is so cool. Oh my gosh. It's a giant Ferris wheel that you can oversee all of London. Are we going <laughs> down? Yeah. No, we're still going up. Oh my gosh. And it takes about a half hour to go around, and it was perfect because it was like sunset, it was a clear day. Perfect picture taking. Yeah, perfect for picture taking. New view. Yeah. Okay, there's some oh, there's some oh. air. I am hot. All of a sudden I was like really hot. Probably because we were a little bit scared of heights, so it was really high up there. We were a little nervous. There's air vents. Oh, perfect. What a life. There's some nice vents that we just kind of sat on top of. Abby doesn't like being hot. No, I don't. Is there ever time where like, Abby, you feel hot and Brittany, you don't? Right now? Yeah, I'm fine right now. I'm freezing. This is such a good time to see it. Like, you I know. The London Eye was such a perfect way to wrap up the trip. We all just love London, and so it is, it's just a place that I think we're just going to have to go back to again and again. So tomorrow we're going to get up and go to Venice, fly to Venice. After five days in London, we're going to go do five days in Italy. So um, we're super excited about that. Italy! Italy!